Wilhelm said he saw you speaking to one of the pilgrims on the 7,000 steps. I told you that I didn't want you to go up there. I know what you said, but I only wanted to speak to him for a moment. Well, it stops now, and that's final. Greetings, viewers and subscribers and all the wonderful people. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. This is the one where my character makes the journey up to the Greybeards and walks the 7,000 steps. I don't know if that's true, but yeah. This is a long journey because you do encounter hunters and creatures and eventually you get there. But there's a secret of the 7,000 steps. And I'll reveal that in this video called Up to the Greybeards. help one of the citizens out before you go up the 7,000 steps. Klimek is heading up and he usually drops off some supplies but he's old and uh, you know you can offer to help him out and once you help him out it does good for citizens and eventually you can be a thane or something. Welcome. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. After you cross the bridge, immediately to the right will be a cave. And that cave contains some bears, which by this point, my character is strong enough to be able to defeat. And so, let's get to this battle with the bears first, before the journey happens. And like I said, to the right, there's this cave and some bears.
As you can tell, I used some poisons to beat the bear, and you might want to do that at lower levels. Now, this contains a heavy armor forging book, which increases smithing, a potion of plentiful he healing, a treasure chest with some gold, a gold coin purse, and a pickaxe you want to pick up because you can mine some conundrum ore because you mix that with iron and you get steel. Now, the this is pretty much it for this cave. It only has a couple bears and this ore and a minor treasure. So I think it's time to just move on to the main mission here. This is where the journey begins, and this is the secret. There are um, etched stones and tablets, ten of them on your journey up, and you don't have to read everything, but you just have to look at these tablets. And again, there's ten of them. And the reason is, once you get to the top and you've read the final tenth tablet, your character is given a special power. and it's really effective in hunting. Animals will not flee from you. And, you know, when you're sneaking up and they sense you and they flee, well, now it's hard to hunt them down. But they won't. And you should be able to take down elk and other creatures easily with this now special power, in a sense. Now, I'm going to fast forward once in a while, because it is a long journey, and I don't want to make this video exceedingly long. And if you go during weather, good weather, you get a great view of how well done Skyrim truly is. You run into hunters and other travelers on your way, and you can talk to them. They'll either brush you off or give you a little bit of information, but again, not a big deal. You gotta end up dealing with um, creatures like ice wraiths and trolls and everything else. It gets to be a little hazardous, and if you're low level, it can be a bit of a pain. As you can see in that fast forward, I fought a ice wraith and a wolf. Now, this is the third emblem, and again, you have to read each emblem. You don't have to read all the sentences and everything. You just got to look at it, quickly glance over, and then hit OK. You can't miss any of the emblems. And again, we come up to another emblem. This is the fourth one with someone meditating in front of it. You look at the words, you just quickly read them, then you hit OK. It's actually a nice tale about the Dragon Wars and how the shouting happened and Parthumax, who uh, lives at the top of the mountain, which will be revealed to you, had somehow done something to save uh, humanity. This troll is probably the most difficult creature you will encounter uh, on your uh, journey to the Greybeards. And I'm going to shoot him with a bow and a poisoned arrow. So that'll... Uh, here we go, slow. That'll at least make things a little more fair for me. And now I can go after him with my dual wielding because he's moving really slow.
That took a little longer than I thought, but it was a frost troll. They're a little more, how shall I say, durable and tough. This is the next emblem, and it's the fifth. After that, I have five more to go. This can be a real long journey. So again, I'm fast forwarding through a lot of the walking. Emblem number six. And actually, it looks like emblem number seven is not that far off from what I'm seeing in my footage. Emblem 7. Uh, if you read it, actually, it's kind of interesting. Jürgen Windcaller and his seven whatever year of meditation, you actually have to retrieve his horn for the Greybeards in order for them to show you the final uh, shout that they teach you. And this is the eighth emblem. Now, the other two emblems are really quick, and so I'm not going to fast forward. Once you get to the top by the High Hothgard or whatever it is, you wind up, once you read the 10th emblem, you get the special power, which is called Voice of the Sky. And I'll show that off once we get to the 10th emblem. The 9th is real close here. And it's actually the most elaborate in some ways because it has a statue of, I believe, Jürgen or Talos or whatever the god they worship is. And the ninth tablet is talking about uh, Tiber Septum and the uh, Hothgard and they blessed and named him Dovahkiin. So now we have to get to the 10th emblem. Take a look down the road here, and the 10th emblem is just around the corner, and it's this tiny little area right here, the final emblem, and you read it, and your character you can speak only in true need. And the character is given voice of the sky. And if you look at the power, and I'm going to look in the magic here, uh, not the map, the magic. Yeah, I sometimes hit the wrong thing. And you look at active effects, and oh, bone breaker fever? Well, no wonder why I had a hard time. But voice of the sky, animals neither flee from you or attack you. So, I'm going to cure disease, and then deliver Kimmel's package, and talk to the Greybeards, which I'm not going to show you the entire training. It's the same for everyone, and once you drop off Kimmel's package, or Kimlix or whatever, you can go talk to him and say, hey, I delivered your supplies. And he'll say thanks and give you a little money. But it's been an interesting walk. And I just wanted to show you the secret that is the 7,000 stairs where your character can get a pretty cool power. And if you like the video, smash the like button. Leave a comment. I love reading comments. Just be nice. And if you like this type of video... I post four videos every week, and you got to hit the subscribe button and bell icon in order to be informed that you are, or I posted a video. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and thanks for stopping by.